Y'all now rocking with Ghetto Report. Ghetto Report. Ghetto Report. Ghetto Report. The Ghetto Report Podcast. Shortly after the incident, Benzino squashes beef with the locks. And was he in a video or something? I believe or something. They did a video later on or something like that. I think he did. I yeah. think I know he did some shit with Jada Kiss, and yeah. that you know, again, that was when I was like, man, see, this is what I'm saying. Like, I'm, 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 I'm not. I, I can't, I can't, I can't fuck around with that. I can't, I can't do it like that. Yeah. So, was that like a lot of? Did that cause a lot of problems between you and him? Where you was like, man, I can't. It didn't fuck really with cause him. no problems. It did. It just made me beat the fuck out. Yeah, he was like, I ain't fucking with that. Like, he, did he even say he was going to go squash the nah. beef? He did that on his own? <laughs> did that on his own, man. And, and for what? I don't know what, what was what. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. But I, what I do know is I can't rock with that type of yeah. mentality. Like, I just can't. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, you, you, you can't squash, go squash the beef when... Did you get stabbed, Ray? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what about everybody else that got I stabbed? I felt like, like I got, got stabbed for him. You got to go talk to people I, I that got like hurt. I felt like I got stabbed you know I mean? for him because I'm on the front line because he painted this picture of DMX wants to holler at us. Yeah. DMX didn't want to holler at 100 niggas. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. I know he's not here, but i pretty confident he didn't be like go get all of them niggas yeah, yeah. i don't think he said that. yeah nah he, he <laughs> definitely didn't say that and then you heard us say he yeah. wants to holler at you right right she so. clearly and that's the thing yeah. there was no shimmy shaking and shucking and jiving about that she clearly she looked at him and sat down and said dms want to holler at you yeah that's what happened man yeah, yeah. now if niggas want to paint other pictures and other all oh, i'll go ahead and paint okay so um when you got your money for the group, I'm going to go back to when, you, when y'all signed y'all deal and you got that money. What you do with your money? So I took that check. I took my jewelry. I pawned my jewelry. I went to the local CDC, Community Development Corporation. They gave me $25,000. I put all that money together and I opened my store in, in Cobbman Square, Antonio Saudi Clothing Store. Okay. And I opened it with the premise that I'm going to make this store like a Newberry Street store. Yeah. Not like some hood shit. Yeah. And, and that's what I did. And yeah. that was that was my already... One thing about me is like I be plotting and planning my escape route months and years yeah. ahead when I see fuckery going on. Yeah. So, I, okay. So, let's talk about the store because... um. Before you actually got the store, we used to pull up to your crib and buy the hoodies from you. Yeah. And, um, and um, we used to, we got the blue hoodie, the the black hoodie. My gray man, ones. my man had the vest. The you yeah. had the gray one. Yeah. We was getting all them hoodies, especially yeah. had the cone. They didn't have yeah. the champs at the time. We yeah. like, we, these are the hoodies, man. We get That's what made me open the store. Yeah. Because I was like, if niggas is going to come to my house, y'all was coming at 2 in the morning after yeah. the club. And yeah. I'm like, yo, if niggas is going to come to my house... Niggas will come to a store. Yeah, we was, we was like, yeah, let's go. We go right here, get the hoodie, man. Um, so yeah, um, one time we did a you you did a photo shoot with us in the square on Wheatland Ave. Yeah, yeah. We was all out there deep, yeah. and the police came. Yeah. And what happened? What did happen? I don't remember. We all ran. We all ran. Yeah. Got in the car. You stayed there. We, but all of us. I was hot. <laughs> Yo, yeah. Was hot. <laughs> Yo, we we all ran. We hopped in the car. My car was at the corner. We we peeled off. Then we ended up coming back. He was like, "Yo, why y'all leave, man?" <laughs> we was like, "Yo, we had to go, man." Yeah, but um, y'all niggas is probably strapped to fuck. Yeah, up most yeah. Like, we was, know y'all was. We was bugging. We was bugging. So um, you we end up doing um, you did a photo shoot with us. I think for like the sauce or something like that or whatever. Yeah. We end up um doing all of that. But um, so the store though. Let us talk about the store. You end up having to stop snitching shirts in the store, right? Mm-hmm. That them shirts made national news. Yeah. Um, you caught a lot of heat from the stop snitching shirt, shirts because people wore it to court. Mm-hmm. Um, did the mayor Menino came in there told him you told told you you got to stop selling them or something? So Menino, so first of all, that idea the stop snitching shirt, I got to give Tang the juice, juice props. Yep. that all that came from his mind. Tang's very visionary. Type of dude, and even the the raid vest that came from his mind as well. Uh-huh. 
But the Stop Snitching shirt, um, Mayor Menino sent three clergymen, three of the top clergymen, um, Rivers, um, uh, the other two, I forgot their name, but he sent them. And they came to my store one morning. I wasn't there. One of my employees was there. He called me and said, yo, the, the ministers are up here. They want to talk to you about the Stop Snitching shirts. I get up there, they're sitting on a car in front of the store, and they're telling me, oh, you know, you got to stop selling those shirts. The mayor's pissed off at you. You need to take them off your shelves now. And I'm like, I'm not taking nothing off the shelf. If the mayor wants me to take them off the shelf, y'all go back and y'all tell him to come see me. And they were like, are you crazy? Are you crazy? I'm like, you heard what I said. And I went in the store. I get a call from the mayor, and he was, you know, he wasn't acting like them. He was like, yo, Antonio, I know, I know what it is, let, let me come talk to you. Let me and you, me and you just talk. And I was like, yeah, that's what that's what it is. So he came, me and him went in the back of my store. We had a one-on-one, and he was just basically telling me how he would compensate me. He was like, I know you don't have to take them off the shelves, so I'm not here to tell you to take them off the shelves because you have freedom, you can do what you want. But for the betterment of the community, it would be best if you took them off the shelves. And if you did... I would make sure you get X amount of money. I would make sure you get X amount of grants and all of these money things he was um, telling me. And so I was, I went and talked to people like my mother and people that had invested in my store and money and things like that. And I was like, you know what? I don't want this shirt to define me. I don't want mothers in this community to hate my guts because mm. their son got killed and people are wearing the shirts in, in court now scaring people and stuff like that. I don't want to be a part of that. That's not what I'm designing clothes for. And so I decided I decided to take them off the shelf. Now, when I took them off the shelf, he didn't take them. I still had them, yeah. which means I can go sell them out the trunk now just yeah. to liquidate them. Yeah. He knew I was going to lose money just by taking them off the shelves and not liquidate them. So he's like, you know, just don't sell them in the store. He's like, if you want to sell them out your trunk, I don't know anything. Yeah. He's like, I don't know nothing about that, basically. And he would invite me down to his office, and he would get on the phone, and he would be called Santander Bank or Citizens Bank and be like, I'm going to send my guy down there. I want you to cut him a check for 30000 I'd go down there, ask for the person he asked me, he told me to ask for. They'd give me a check, and I would leave. And that went on, I don't know, four or five times. And then he would have people that he worked with give me grants, and they would tell me, you know, it's going to look like a grant. It's going to look like a, a loan, but it's going to turn into a grant, and then it's going to just go away. Yeah. So don't worry about it. You're going to get things in the mail that says this is your monthly statement, your monthly bill, whatever. He's like, just don't worry about it. It's going to go away. And it, it all went away. And so the money that that he gave me for taking the shirts off the shelf was more than what the shirts was worth. Way yeah. more. Yeah. Way more. And then I still liquidated the shirts as well. Yeah. So, And then I just I just moved on. You yeah. know what I mean? I don't, I don't want... I'm a, you're in the community. You can't have a store in the community and people hate you. How are you going to survive? Right. Right. So That was a smart, smart business move. And shout out to uh, Menino for doing that. You nah, know? Menino was, he was real G about it. Some yeah. dudes was like, oh, if that was me, I wouldn't have fucking took... No, 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 no. I'm like, well, that's why you ain't me. Yeah. I'm I'm strategic with mine. I'm not. It's not about trying. You got to know when to be gangster and know when to be a businessman, know when to be smart. Yeah. I know how to do that. Yeah. And I'm not trying to impress anybody's gangsterism. Man. I'm trying to do what's best for what I'm trying to do. Yeah. That 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 was real um smooth, man. You know that was good. We Shout started to start peace shirt after that, and yeah. mind you, that shirt did nothing in comparison to stop <laughs> snitching. And you know what? Even even cops that used to pull me over. Shortly thereafter that, they used to be like, oh, yo, Billy, it's a stop snitching guy. And they used to be like, yo, we, we don't give a fuck. We love them shirts because the dudes that be wearing, most of the dudes that wear them shirts be snitching anyway. So they yeah. was like, we don't, we don't, yeah, we don't care don't about that. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Menino gave me contacts to the superintendents. He's like, anytime you get in any problems, call, call my guy. And I used those contacts. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I called him several times like, yo... One of your officers over here, uh, put him on the phone. Because yeah. we were trying to shoot a video one day in Cobman Square for Black. Yeah, I don't okay. know if you remember when Black got killed. And I brought a, I brought a whole bunch of, yeah. I brought big shit up to Cobman Square. Speakers, we had shit rocking out uh, there. Oh, Jim Black? Yeah. yeah. And 
the police were up there and they were like, oh, y'all can't do this, y'all can't do that, you need to shut it down, this is over, da, da, da. and I'm like, nah, I got clearance to do this. Oh, no, you don't. I said, no, I can call your superintendent right now. I called the superintendent, told him what was going on. He was like, where's he at? Put him on the phone. He puts him on the phone. All I heard was, yes, yes, okay. Hung up. He was like, go on. Yeah. <laughs> we did what we, we, did what we had to do. Yo, that, nah, that's smooth, man. Um, yeah, so um, you received this prestigious Small Business of the Year Award. Um, clothing was featured in movies like The Shaft, um, Save the Last Dance, Exit Wounds, and Talk. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, that's good, man. Um and but Max B and Jim Jones wore your shirt in um wore the stop snitching shirt in a video. You seen that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They they wore them like they wore a lot of them. Yeah, like that, they, that blew it up. Yeah. And Jim Jones, before Jim Jones even got famous, him and Cameron did ads with us, Freaky Ziki, them yeah. dudes did, you know, before they blew up. They did some ads for us in the Source magazine. So okay. Jim Jones always he always showed love. Yeah, shout out to Jim. I met Jim um, years back, and um, he ended up doing a song for Smoke. Um, yeah, Kanye. They say Kanye ripped off a design for your um, for Fashion Week or something. I'm caught up in this fast life. Every morning that I pray, gotta make it out some way. 